Look, Iris, I can use my satellite phone now. Great! So who do we call? The police? 911? <sighs> I don't think either of those will be working right now. So what do we do? Ah, uh, I can think of one person to call. Oh, come on. Thanks to that, we know where they are. Are you sure Evans was telling the truth about this hideout in Bainesville? I don't know. Honestly, it's a 50-50 shot. We don't have any other leads. True. And that's why I'm sending you. I need you guys to take this girl to Blue Ridge Center. She's been through a lot. So take care of her for me. Iris, that helicopter will take you to a safe place. I guess this is goodbye. But where are you going? You said you'd stay with me, Ray. These people are gonna help you find your mom and dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to stay with you. But there are other people still in need of help. I know. It's your job to save people, right? Yeah. I guess it is. I hope we see each other again, Ray. We will. I promise. Surge used the confusion of the earthquake to steal three decommissioned nuclear warheads. What a nightmare. And? Why are they threatening the government? For money? Surge was once known as the proudest special forces team we had. They were apparently in a South American country to train anti-government guerrillas, and together, they were heroes who fought against tyranny. Then one day, the U.S. started supporting that country's government, and the order came down to wipe out the guerrillas. The surge team disobeyed the order, and soon the local government and U.S. forces surrounded them. As the troops closed in, a nearby volcano erupted, and the entire unit was believed to be wiped out, along with the guerrillas. You get the picture? Yeah, I got it. Well, it makes no difference. We have to get those nukes back. You're right. And we're gonna need your help. It's too risky to send special forces in. Surge would just make good on their threat. But if some renegade with his own personal vendetta were to go in there and cause trouble, they likely wouldn't blow the bombs. That's the scenario. Clear? Yeah, but what do you expect me to accomplish? Do what you can. <laughs> Besides, you'd go after him even if I said not to. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would. We'll arrive in six hours. So get some rest until then. Sure. I think I will. Oh, and one more thing. The Bainesville area is in the path of Hurricane Aaron. You can count on heavy rainfall and flooding. So be careful. <sighs> we'll be up on the 16-hour mark soon. Have you started the money transfer? Colonel, as you know, our country is in complete chaos. We need more time to transfer the funds. We've got no time to spare. Execute the transfer at once. I'm telling you, it's impossible. 
Then responsibility for the destruction of an American city will be yours, Mr. President. Colonel! Wait! What's happening? I'm gonna check on the cockpit. Yo, Raymond! You getting any better? Power is necessary in order to save lives, don't you think? This is your new ticket. Use it to obtain the power you need. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Engine trouble. Number one just cut out on us. Why? Must be the volcanic ash. It spread wider than I thought it would. <laughs> we're already over Bainesville, but it's a little further to the airport. Sorry, but we're gonna have to turn back. Maybe we can try something if we get to a lower altitude. Damn it! All this way just to turn back? <laughs> hey! What are you? Going skydiving. Are you nuts? I need a parachute. No one needs rescuing around here. Oh! 